All right, uh, here's the unboxing. I should have turned off my air conditioning, but I didn't. So I know that's going to come up in the video. Anyways, of the Asus ROG Ally, which I didn't really think I was going to get, but here it is. I don't think I need this to open this because there's already a, eh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Apparently there's extra plastic on here. Okay, I do need it. Anyway, so this was this came from UPS. Uh, yeah, the, well, it came from Best Buy. It was shipped by UPS, and UPS loves to throw packages. So always get concerned with UPS. I hate when they ship with them. But what are they going to do? Ship with Amazon? It's the only people that I ever have not throw my packages up against the door. Uh, but anytime. I hear a package hit the door and slide down, and it's either FedEx or UPS. Um, and the packaging inside of this was actually deflated. It was that bubble stuff with the air in it, what do you call the plastic shit. And it was all deflated, so there was really no protection. <laughs> so. But here it is. The box. I like the outside packaging for it over the Steam Deck. I don't know if the unboxing experience to get into it is is, is good. <laughs> you don't get a case or anything like that, but let's make sure this is cut open. <laughs> All right. Did I get that? Yeah. Okay. Here and lift up, and we're upside down. Upside down unboxing. So, here is the instructions telling you to plug it in first, um, just like the Steam Deck did that. It says plug it in, and then you can power it on, and it says it in 8,000 different languages, and it doesn't seem to say it in English, does it? <laughs> Hmm. It just says plug in. Okay, so I guess plug in, power on. Okay. The way they put that on there is weird. All right. This also comes with, oh, before I get to this. So Asus, I guess, was nice enough to include their garbage. They're doing their part to recycle with their garbage with these egg cartons. Yeah, so apparently they had some boxes laying around the place and they figured instead of, you know, having them, someone pick them up, they throw it at you and, you know, here, take my garbage for 700 bucks. Yeah, get that shit out of here. Let's throw that in the garbage <laughs> where it belonged in the first place. Anyways, here is the device. Looking good. Kind of nice. Here's the device looking nice. Right, I could be a rapper. Okay, so we have, what does it say on here? I'm going to actually look at this. It says D-pad. There's a D-pad. I don't mind the D-pad. People are uh, saying the D-pad sucks, but I don't know. feels alright to me. I can feel each, each, um, what do you call it? Each membrane seems to be able to be pressed easily. Should be fine. Yeah, these, these sticks are loose. Um, I do prefer the Steam Deck sticks. I kind of prefer their layout. I wish more people would actually use that layout, but, you know, the Xbox layout's cool, too. I use that all the time, so. Not the end of the world. This is definitely thinner. Doubt it will be as comfortable as the Steam Deck. But we have Windows on here, which is a double-edged sword for me. This is a very... This unboxing is great. Yeah, uh, the uh, this is weird feeling. Uh, definitely not as comfortable as the Steam Deck. There's a lot of, like, gaps. There's a gap here, like, where I put my hand right in this spot. But maybe it'll be fine, you know? Maybe my hands won't cramp up. Uh, apparently, this is a really nice 1080p on 120 hertz screen. 
And in order to actually turn this on, I can't do it right away, I will need the... Yeah, I do. I, I like the Steam Decks triggers better. Uh, but these are all right. These are fine. I don't know if... <laughs> See, the Steam Deck has these weird, very hard-to-reach bumpers, and I thought these would be better, but I don't know that they are. They're still hard to reach. But we have buttons. I'm okay with the buttons. They're fine. Actually, if anything, I feel like they're more comfortable because they're not as rounded, <laughs> um, so they don't stick into your thumbs as much. Not that it was an issue, just... And we have that, those weird back buttons that look like rocks. Um, these. Uh, I don't really use those, but apparently they're good for, for like, different, like, hotkeys. Like, recording is... I forget which one and why. And then there's, like, a, the one to pull up the keyboard and all that. But, yeah, the triggers are all right. I thought I was going to like them a lot more. They looked a lot nicer in the, in videos. If you hear any banging and stuff, there's people upstairs, like, I don't know if they're moving around or something, doing something. Um, they might be killing each other, who knows. I think they're just cleaning, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, it seems fine. Um, I do wish they space start and select from these ROG buttons or whatever, the ROG buttons. I called it R ROG. Spawn Wave caught a lot of shit for calling it ROG. <laughs> I'm gonna get, catch shit for that. No, okay, ROG. <laughs> Um, these feel a little stiff. I feel like I might accidentally press these instead of the start and select, but, uh, I would, I like the way the Steam Deck had the buttons down here so that you can differentiate it easier. And there's no touch pads, which I do like this touch pads on the Steam Deck, uh, because just for it navigating, I don't really play games with them. But, it, you know, it's not the end of the world. There's also a gyro in here, and they didn't enable it. There's, like, a software, apparently, now that allows you to enable it, but I think you have to pay for it. And I'm like, <laughs> that's kind of stupid. I want the gyro support to be free. Though, or not free, it's it's part of the device. You pay for it, but I don't want to have to pay extra <laughs> for that. Let me turn around to the back. Let's look at the back. We've seen this. This is not an LED. This is just... Uh, you know, it's just a, what do you call it? <laughs> it's like a sticker or some shit. And yeah, there's that. And then we have on top here, we have power. Also doubles as a fingerprint sensor. We have our LED lights. Uh, one of them is just to say, hey, I'm doing something. The other one's like, I'm charging. And then we have our volume up, volume down. USB-C to, to charge, and then this is the X, XG, whatever the fuck it is, uh, XG Mobile or whatever. It says it on here. Yeah, XGM Mobile. XG Mobile, yeah. <laughs> uh, for overpriced graphics cards, you could literally build an entire PC for the cost of one of those graphics cards, so I don't see the point. Um, and then the SD card slot, so we can add more storage. Out of the box, this has 512 gigs, I believe. So that's more than my Steam Deck had. Um, and then we have our headphone jack. Amazing, right? There's a headphone jack. I always have to point that out when it's got a headphone jack. I should test the 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 output to see if uh, it can run some decent headphones. Because I do have some, uh, what do you call them? HD, uh, Sennheiser HD 6 something. I don't remember. But yeah. Let's see if we can power those or if it just requires like maybe a a uh, dongle or something to do that but anyways I think that's everything and now we're gonna get further into the box here put this aside I have to remember to throw that uh, stand out or that you know Asus garbage so, they got the, they got this just thrown in here. <laughs> they just threw this thing in, like, it doesn't even fit right. They could have, like, made it presentable in some way, but they just threw it in there. <laughs> um, so, alright, so this is a 65-watt USB-C charger. 
apparently it's a decent sized cable um, and uh, should charge in what was it uh, an hour or something I don't remember it's really really quick charging apparently so that should make up for some of the um, faults of the battery life which apparently sucks um, so and the way I'm, I'm framing this, it sounds like I, I hate it. I haven't even used it yet, so <laughs> I'm really excited, actually. Um, uh, how did we open this without just getting crazy? Oh, we have a tab here. That's something. We just rip it open. It's, it's fine. It's all good. It's only plastic that's going to be thrown in the garbage anyways. Or I could do what Asus does. I could repurpose this plastic and sell it to somebody. <laughs> uh, I just got to remember not to update the BIOS, apparently. Unless they fix their BIOS issues, which I haven't heard of yet. So we'll see. But we have the charger. That will be necessary to, um, to actually plug the thing in. And let's see if this is actually hiding it. Probably documentation in here. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Open this and yeah, documentation. Uh, this comes with uh, what is it? Three months free uh, Xbox. Well, it's probably part of the price, but whatever. It comes with three months of Xbox Game Pass. Uh, so I already have three months, so I don't know how that's going to work. It's going to stack on top of it, or what's going to happen there? But um. I also have a laptop that actually was cheaper than this. Kind of outperforms it in gaming. It's not like the CPU in this is actually better, and there's some specs in this that are better, but when you play games on this laptop, it just it can easily hit 100 FPS on a lot of the titles because of the dedicated GPU, but a lot of the like the RAM and the and the uh, VRAM and everything is actually not as good. But, so this one doesn't perform as well in games, but apparently can even do some VR, though. That my laptop can't do. <laughs> but this is cool. Um, so far, now I heard the setup experience is Windows, so it's going to be a Windows, uh, basically box stock Windows uh, up, uh, setup process, which... Yeah, it, it's annoying even if you like Windows, <laughs> or even if you use Windows. I'm not going to say I like it. Wish Linux was actually did everything I needed to because I would really prefer to just use Linux. But VR is a pain. Um, Call of Duty, you can't play. A lot of anti-cheat issues. So you can put on the Steam Deck. Uh, you can put. Uh, What's the word? You could put Windows on there and it runs, but it's a pain in the ass. Especially if we're running it off an SD card. I don't want to replace Steam OS. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> so, we're going to plug this thing in. Um, I wish I had left myself some space uh, to get there. Let me pause. I will plug in the... <laughs> the power adapter so I don't shake the, the tripod and everything. Okay, uh, I've done that. Um, and now we are going to turn on the Asus ROG Ally. This was necessary on the Steam Deck as well. USB-C, they, they should... Uh, it doesn't... Uh, it's not as easy to see on this. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the... In person, it looks better than it does in the videos, these uh, RGB um, rings on, on the on there. It looks so much better in person than it does on, in... Uh, oh, <laughs> got to take a breath. But yeah, I've, I've been waiting for this all day. I actually paid extra money to have it delivered specifically today because I have the day off. And I wanted to make sure that I could take it into my house. Because I've had issues with people rummaging through boxes and stuff, so. And luckily it did come today. Oh yeah, that is sharp. That screen is... 
again, it, this is another thing where I saw it on video and it looked good, but in person it is so much better than the Steam Deck's uh, screen. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole Windows setup here because it involves putting in personal information and whatever else, but uh, I will report on any issues I might have, such as keyboards not wanting to pop up like uh, some people have had issues with. Uh, but I will go through whatever I need to go through in order to not... Uh, you know, anything that's not going to put out my personal info. <laughs> um, let me just try to straighten this out a bit and zoom in a little. <sighs> All right. So let's see about going through this with a controller. I see everybody doing it with a touch screen. And I don't to like to touch. your device using a screen reader. Yes. Turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus of course. Control plus Enter. Shut up. For more accessibility features. Nobody cares. Press Windows plus U or select the accessibility icon up, in the bottom corner. Okay, now that I can talk, um, I would like to be able to lower the brightness of the screen. Let me see if I can get a little more light in here to combat the screen brightness a bit. There we go. So, what was that? I thought I saw something cre creepy crawly. Better not show up in my video. That's what happens when you live in the ghetto. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I was going to do this in the, um, in the, uh, what is it called again? In the video? I was going to do this with a controller. Yes, we're going to set this up with a controller. I don't like to put my grubby fingers on a touchscreen if I don't have to. Um, yeah. So, want to add a second keyboard? No, I don't. Um, let's connect to your Wi-Fi. Let's see if we can. And this is going to be where I'm going to probably cut it off for now. I'm just going to pause the video and put in my password. It is seeing my my Wi-Fi. Uh, I have 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi 6 router. So we're going to now at once. Okay. Hit connect. Is it okay? So apparently, I do need to use the touch screen. Unless no. Is there any way to? No, you have to use the touch screen. I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, and there's the keyboard. So no issues with the keyboard so far. Uh, that's good. I'm going to pause and come back. All right, so I'm waiting now for all this stuff to happen. The keyboard did pop up. One thing I did notice is it wasn't touch. Uh, it was only only worked with the touch screen. It did not work uh, with controller. So it wasn't like Steam Deck has a controller that you can use the keyboard with. Uh, yeah, it's it's compatible with the controller. This one I had to use a touch screen with. <sighs> so. That's going to make it a little harder to input things sometimes. So now we're rebooting, just like a Windows device. I mean, I'm used to this. Uh, if you're a console gamer, you're probably going to be frustrated, uh, especially if you don't use it. Like, if you're someone who never had Windows, or if maybe you, you grew up with, like, Chromebooks or something, um, you're probably going to have a frustrating experience. Um because it does take a bit. And it is frustrating in the sense that Microsoft wants to uh, own your life <laughs> here. So let's see. Review the license agreement. What is this here? Microsoft, so can, can I not accept your software? Oh, that's for the operating system. I thought this was like to install. What happens if I... Okay, so the analog stick does control the license agreement. Let's see if we can... Can we? No. Okay, so you have to use the touch screen here, as far as I'm aware. Um, name your device. Uh, gee, what's what should we call? It? Let me see. Let me double check and make make sure the keyboard can't be used. <laughs> okay, so you can't use the keyboard with the controls. Um, I'm gonna call my device. 
ally. I'm sure a lot of other people also called it that or something, so whatever. Okay, so I got to read this stuff kind of a little carefully because I don't want to install, I try not to install Microsoft's bulletware, but it doesn't look like it's possible to uh, go through with this without actually doing that. This is a price that you pay to be able to play games like Call of Duty and whatever else um, on a PC handheld, or any PC really, uh, because Linux isn't doing it, unless you stream the shit. So now we're rebooting again. <laughs> This is fun, right? <laughs> okay, just a moment. And this is what I'm used to from Windows. You know, by, by the time you're dead, it's all set up and you're good to go. You know, so it says unlock your Microsoft experience. Um, I'm gonna sign in because I want my, my um, uh, game pass. Oh, gotta clean that up. I want my game pass, and uh, that's about it. So I'm not going to show the sign in, but we'll be back. Okay, so now I've actually selected to set this up as a new device, so this way I can start from scratch. So this way I have the best experience that I could possibly have with as little bugs as hopefully possible. Now we're going to set up uh, my fingerprint. Um, here so that I can just log in and but at the same time be secure. Uh, so we're gonna if I can get this working. It is a nice thing to have. I didn't like that one. Uh, where am I? Okay. So you already you already did this. So that's it, you're all set, okay. Well, fingerprints set up, and now set up a pin. I'm going to set up my pin off camera. Uh, hit OK. Try to. I mean, it doesn't. Okay, there you go. We did it. We hit OK. <sighs> Okay, so now it says, choose your privacy settings. Um, I'm going to leave Find My Device on because, you know, I find it to be useful uh, most of the times. Uh, but, inking and typing, send out, uh, screw you. Or if you're on the Taylor experience, get out of here. No advertising, go to hell. Uh, are you here? And, uh, I'm going to have to edit something out because <laughs> it just shows my personal information. Great, thanks. Now I have to edit something. I was hoping to do one take. Uh, let's see. Uh, so it says support protection. I'll just put it back. I think I'm okay now. Support and protection. <coughs> Register with Asus and or business partnership, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Provide my email and phone. Provide my email. I'll get out of here with that. I don't care. So what are you going to use this for? Gaming? Probably entertainment. Creativity. Uh, no business. No family. We accept that. See if it makes any difference. And then it says, use your phone. I do want to do that, but right now I'm recording with it, so I'm going to skip. I do like the Your Phone app. <laughs> it's nice not to have to pick up my phone when it's 100 miles away to check things. Let's decline this. No, that should get around that. We will decline the cloud storage, decline all that other stuff. Hopefully we can get as little bloatware on here as possible. Although I find sometimes with Windows, they don't give a shit what you select. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Getting things ready for you. I remember doing this on the PlayStation 4 when I got it. No, I don't. 
remember the setup. I don't remember all this. Although I do remember this on my Windows computer that I built and my laptop and not my Steam Deck, although when I did run Windows on it, uh, I did have to go through this. <laughs> so, it's nothing new to me, just, again, if you're a console gamer and, and you're not willing to do this, if you're not looking to switch to PC, you know, you can pay attention to stuff like this and see if you're willing to actually go through all this stuff. It does take a lot longer to set up a Windows machine. It's not really technically meant for gaming, uh, first and foremost, but uh, it is, first and foremost, a productivity machine that is very good at gaming. <laughs> um, so, so one good thing about SteamOS, even though the compatibility isn't really on par with Windows, uh, you're getting... Uh, uh, a much easier setup, much easier to navigate interface um, and stuff like that. So right here we are. Um, there we go now. Your device is optimized for touch. That's fantastic. But when you're here, what you're going to want to do is not use the device. So I'm not even going to go through all this. This video is long enough. It's actually almost a half an hour long. And I'm going to need to set this up. Even further, there's going to be multiple different updates that are needed, uh, that downloading games, um, all that. So I will come back with another video. This was just the unboxing and setup, and I got to remember to edit out my information so that uh, you know somebody doesn't come to my door and uh, kiss me on the cheek. All right, thank you for watching.